Hey guys, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how I created this little alien. I actually made a ton of these for Valentine's Day. But I didn't get a chance to film this until now, so that's why it's a little bit late. But it's still a great project to have, and I'm excited to show you how I made him. If you're interested in making a little alien, I'll let you know what you'll need in the next couple clips. I'll be using a crochet hook in the size 4.5 millimeters. 8 millimeter safety eyes, scissors, embroidery thread, and a stitch marker, a hot glue gun, and stuffing, white, purple, blue, and green yarn. The white is from Craftsmart, the purple and green are from One Pound Yarn, and the blue one is from Impeccable Loops and Thread. With our green yarn, we want to begin round one with a magic circle. So you're just going to take your yarn, wrap it around your fingers to create an X. And then we want to take our hook and insert it inside the circle and grab some of this yarn through. Now I'm just going to yarn over my hook and pull it through and then tighten it up. So now with this piece of yarn, I can pull it and it will make my circle smaller. So now for round one, I want to single crochet five times into my circle. When I do my single crochets, I want to go in the circle and also over this piece of yarn. So I'm just going to take my hook inside my circle, grab this yarn and pull it through. I now have two loops on my hook. I will yarn over and pull through. So that was one single crochet. I will single crochet four more times. To end off round one, I want to slip stitch into my first stitch. So this is my first stitch. I just want to insert my hook into that stitch, grab some yarn, pull it through the stitch, and also through this loop. And that is the end of round one. I can now insert my stitch marker into that last stitch, and we are done with round one. For round two, we will increase into every stitch. So here is my first stitch. We're going to increase with a single crochet. So that was one and two into the same stitch. So you want to repeat that all the way through until you end up with 10 stitches in total for round two. So you will end off with an increase into where the stitch marker is. For round three, we want to start off with an increase into the first stitch. So one single crochet and two into the same one. Moving on to the next stitch, you want to single crochet. And you will repeat that process all the way through until you end up with 15 stitches in total for round three. For round four, all we're doing is single crocheting the entire round. So you should still end up with 15 stitches in total for round four. For round five, we want to start off with an invisible decrease. So that means I'm just going into the front loops only of my stitch. So here's my first stitch. I'm just going through the front loop of it. I'm taking this yarn and pulling it through. I now have two loops on my hook. I want to go into my next stitch and I'm going to do the exact same thing. Now I have three loops, so I'm going to yarn over and pull through all three. So that is an invisible decrease. Now into my next stitch, I'm just going to do a normal single crochet. So I'm going through the entire stitch, and there's my single crochet. So I want to repeat those steps all the way through until I end up with 10 stitches in total for round 5. For round 6, we're going to close this circle up a little bit more, so what we're going to do is decrease two times. So for this one, it's going to be a normal decrease, which means I'm going through the entire stitch. So here's my first stitch. I'm just inserting my hook straight through. And now I have two loops, so I'm going to do the same thing into my next stitch. I have three loops. I'm going to yarn over and pull through all three. So that was my first decrease. Now I'm going to do one more decrease. So here's my stitch. I pull through my next stitch, pulling through again, yarn over and pull through all three loops. Now I'm going to single crochet into the next stitch. So here's my next stitch. Here's my single crochet. And then I'm going to repeat that just one more time. So two more decreases and a single crochet where my stitch marker is. And that will have me at a total of six stitches in round six. Round. 
For rounds 7 and 8, we're just going to single crochet, so I will have 6 stitches in each of those rounds. So the way that I'll crochet when it's a smaller circle is I'll just hold it from the outside, and then I'll just insert my hook this way, and work it around because it is pretty tiny to work around, but um, I just hold it from the outside to make it a little bit easier. So I will finish the rest of this off camera, and then I'll be back to start the head. Now that you have the antenna portion done, this is actually connected to the head, so we're going to call this head portion round one. So for this part, we will increase into every stitch, so you will end up with a total of 12 stitches. And this is my first stitch here. Again, it's going to be a little bit hard because it's such a small circle, but I just want to do two single crochets into every stitch. So that was one, going back into the same stitch and two. Now I'll finish this off until I end up with 12 stitches in total for round one. For round two, we're going to start off with an increase into the first stitch. One single crochet, two. Now into my next stitch, I'm just going to single crochet. And now I want to repeat those steps all the way through until I end up with a total of 18 stitches in round two. For round three, we're going to start off with an increase into the first stitch. And then we're going to single crochet into the next two stitches. And you'll repeat those steps all the way through until you end up with a total of 24 stitches in round three. For round four, we're going to once again start off with an increase into our first stitch. And then we're going to single crochet into the next three stitches. And then you want to repeat those steps all the way through until you end up with 30 stitches in total for round 4. For rounds 5 to round 9, we're just going to single crochet that entire round so we can create the length of the face. So you'll still end up with 30 stitches in each of those rounds. Once you finish rounds 5 to round 9, you can cut off your green yarn and now we're going to attach our blue. So you can see here that I have my stitch marker on. I'm just going to remove that and I'm going to take one stitch out and I'm going to attach my blue this way. So I want to put my hook back into the loop and I'll get ready with my blue yarn. And what I'm going to do here is just insert my hook into that last stitch. And then I'm going to take this green yarn through. So I currently have two loops, but before I pull through, I'm not going to use the green yarn. I'm actually going to take my blue and I'm holding it back here. But what I'm going to do is just yarn over with my blue and pull through both of those loops. So now I can put my stitch marker back into that last stitch and I can continue crocheting with my blue. So if you want to make it a little bit more secure, what you can do is tie the blue and the green yarn together and that way it will just be a little bit more secure. So what we're going to do for rounds 10 to round 12, we're just going to single crochet with the blue. I'm not really going to show that part on camera because it's still just my single crochets. So you will end up with 30 stitches in total for each of those rounds. Remember it's rounds 10 to round 12 that we will single crochet with the blue. As you can see, with this color change, you do kind of have a gap here, but that'll be all right because we will have a belt that will cover it up. So now moving on to round 13, we're going to start off with an invisible decrease. So similar to what we did earlier with our antenna portion, we're just going into the front loop only. So here's my first stitch where I'm going into the front loop only. I'll grab some of this yarn through. I have two loops. Now I'm going into my next stitch and I'm doing the exact same thing. Next, I'm going to yarn over and pull through all three loops, and that is a invisible decrease. So now I'm going to single crochet into the next three stitches. So that was one, two, and 
three. So you want to repeat those steps all the way through until you end up with 24 stitches in total for round 13. After my decreasing round, this is what it looks like. So for round 14, we don't want it to close in too much yet, so we're just going to single crochet for that round and we will still end up with 24 stitches in total for round 14. For round 15, we're going to start off with an invisible decrease. So I'm going into my first stitch into the front loop only. And now into my next stitch. I'm going to yarn over and pull through all three. Next, I'm going to single crochet into the next two stitches. So that's one and two. You want to repeat that all the way through until you end up with 18 stitches in total for round 15. At this point, once you finish that decreasing round, you can start to stuff your project, and I have done so already. So I'm going to move on to round 16 now. We will do another invisible decrease into our first stitch. So I'm going once again into the front loop only. And then I'm going to single crochet into the next stitch. So here's my next stitch, and that is a single crochet. I'll repeat those steps all the way through until I end up with 12 stitches in total for round 16. For my last decreasing round, I'm going to do a normal decrease. So I'm going through the entire stitch. And I'll do one decrease. And I'm going to do two more. So that was my second decrease and then my third decrease. Now I'm just going to cut off some excess yarn so I can close this up. And what I'm going to do here is just pull my yarn out. And when I start closing it up, I'm going to go the way that I would decrease. So I'm going to take my hook and insert it into the next stitch and just grab some yarn through. And I'll do that to the next stitch. This way I can pull it and close it up. And I accidentally grabbed some of my stuffing, but that's okay. So I'm just going to pull it to show you how it will close. So it just closed up a little bit. I'm going to continue doing that until I can close this all the way up. Once you have it closed up, you can take your excess yarn and then just stuff it back into the little hole if you do have space. So I'm just going to do that until this is stuffed back in there. Once it's stuffed, this is what it looks like, and now we can move on to the eyes. With our white yarn, what we're going to do is create a magic circle. And the eyes are really simple because it's just a magic circle and single crocheting six times into the circle. So if you don't remember, we're going to take our yarn and wrap it around our fingers to create an X. Now we're just going to insert our hook into the loop and grab some of this yarn through. I'm going to yarn over and pull through. So that was my magic circle. Now I can take this part of my yarn and close it up. And now I'm going to single crochet six times into our circle. So I'm going into my circle, grabbing this yarn, and that's one. So I'm going to single crochet five more times, and then I'm going to end off with a slip stitch. After you finish slip stitching into the first stitch, you have your magic circle, and all you have to do is pull your yarn out. I accidentally already did that, but all you have to do is where that loop was, just completely take it out, and this is what you have. Later on, we're going to glue it to the back. So for now, you can just take your eyes and then stuff it in the middle, and later on, we will glue everything together. So you need three of these eyes. Next up, to create the belt, you want to take your purple yarn, and it doesn't have to be the same color I have. I probably should have mentioned that in the beginning, but you can use whatever color you like for the belt. I'm just using a lighter purple, and we're going to create a chain, but first off, we need to start with a slip knot. So I'm just going to take my yarn, and I'm holding it in half. Next, I'm going to turn it, and with my longer piece of yarn, I'm going to pull it through, 
and just tighten it up like that. So that's a slip knot. Now I'm just going to take my hook and insert it inside the loop and tighten it up. Now I'm going to create a chain. So the length of your chain depends on how, how much you stuff your little alien. So you just want to make sure you can go around the alien. So to do that, we want to yarn over our hook and pull through. And you just want to continue doing that until you reach um, the size that will fit your alien. So I'm going to continue doing that until it can fit. And then I'll be back. Once your belt is the length that can fit around your alien, what you're going to do for your last one is just yarn over your hook and do your last chain and just pull it straight out. And then tighten it up. And now you're done with the belt so we can move on to the ears. To begin our ears, we want to go back to our green yarn and for round one, we will start off with a magic circle. So we've done that a couple times already, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that quickly. And now we're going to single crochet into our circle four times. So this is going to be a smaller piece, so just be patient because it is going to be a tiny bit difficult in the beginning. So that's two three and before I do my last single crochet I'm just going to tighten it up a little bit and do my fourth single crochet now to end off my first round again we want to slip stitch into our first stitch so there's my first stitch just going straight through and I'm going to take this yarn and pull it through the stitch and my loop so if you want, you can add your stitch marker now, but because I can kind of keep track of it since it's a smaller piece, I'm just going to leave it out. Remember, if you want your stitch marker, go ahead and insert it into that last stitch, and now we can begin round two. For round two, we're going to increase into every stitch. So we should end up with a total of eight stitches at the end. So I'm just going into my first stitch, and I'm going to do two single crochets. You want to repeat that until you end up with eight stitches so i'm going to go ahead and do that off camera and i'll be back okay so round two was our last increasing round and when you continue further you kind of want to just push this down so you can have the ears go the way you want it to. so you want this side to show and it was a little bit tight so it was kind of like this earlier just remember to push it down and now we can move on to round three and round four so for rounds three and round four we're just going to single crochet so you should still end up with a total of eight stitches in each of those rounds for the last round on our ears, this is round five, we're going to start off with a decrease and we're doing a normal decrease. So you want to go through the entire stitch and then you want to go into the next stitch and do the same thing. And now you have three loops. You can yarn over and pull through all three. And then you want to single crochet into the next two stitches. One, and then my next stitch. That was two so now you're just going to repeat that one more time and you'll end up with six stitches at the end i now have just cut off the excess piece of yarn you do need to leave some so you can sew it on later to the head so after you cut it off all you're going to do is just pull this out and now you need two pieces so go ahead and make another one and later on we will sew this up with this piece of yarn you can either cut it off or just tuck it back into the ears whatever you like so make your second piece and then we can attach everything together okay so the first thing i want to attach on is my purple belt so what i'm going to do is actually start off where you can see the color change so i'm just going to take my hot glue gun and i know i have the dirtiest hot glue gun but i don't need a new one it still works so I'm just going to hot glue the purple. Next, I'm going to glue my eyes. So remember how I told you that we have these little pieces here? We're going to fold it back with our hot glue gun. So I'm just going to put a little piece on the back. And then I'm going to take my yarn and make sure it lays down flat. 
And now I'm going to cut off the excess piece of yarn. And then I will just take this entire piece and glue it onto the head. I meant to say the face. But anyways, you just want to make sure you place it the way you want it before you actually put the hot glue gun on. So I'm going to do that really quick and just play around with it to see what I like and how it looks. He looks really weird without his ears, but before that we want to glue on the mouth. So you can sew this on, but I'm just going to do the easy way and I'm going to glue it on. So what I do is take my embroidery thread and I fold it in half and then I put some hot glue gun, hot glue gun, hot glue down and then I'm just going to glue it that way. So I'll do that in the next clip. Once you have your face attached, we can now sew on the ears. So I just have my threading needle here and I'm going to sew it on to the head. I'm going to place it kind of low. So I don't want to put it too high because I don't think it looks weird or anything, but I just like mine's about right here. So I'm going to do that with both of the ears and then um, I will be done. As you can see, I kind of cut my thread or my yarn a little bit too short, so it just came out. Make sure you leave a lot of room to sew on your ears. Once you attach your ears, it may look a little bit funky, so what I do now is I pinch them together and I curve it up just to give it a different look. I kind of like this look better. And it just curves up nicely like that. So after that, you are now done with your alien. And if you guys made it to the end of the video, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one.